Hey friends, it's Jenna, also known as Empty Hanger, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super exciting video. It is all about steaming clothing. If you're new to my channel, you might not know that I am a full-time clothing fashion seller over on the Poshmark app, and I share my tips and tricks and journey along the way with you here on YouTube and on Instagram, which is Empty Hanger, and I talk a lot about steaming clothing. I love to steam my clothes, whether it be to sell on Poshmark or for my personal use. I just think it creates a great presentation, and it is super fast and super easy to do. I will never iron again. Let's be real, I never ironed in the first place, but steaming is way better. So I talk a lot about my Jiffy steamer, and when Jiffy reached out to me recently about partnering in this video, I was super excited because it is a brand I love, use, and trust, and I definitely wanted to share with you how I steam my clothing and also my top five steaming hacks. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So we're downstairs in my photo studio, which is where I steam all my clothing and get it ready to take pictures. And right behind me, I have my Jiffy J2000, which is the steamer I have been using for at least six months, if not longer. I absolutely love this thing. It works amazing. So let me show you how to get it set up and started. This is the steamer that I use. It is the Jiffy J2000. You can see it has a nice big water tank. It is an upright garment steamer, so it does have the metal pole where you can hang your clothing right here. And then I have the one that has the metal steam head where the steam comes out right here. It gets really hot and you have the wooden handle to hold on to. The first thing we want to do is fill up the water tank with distilled water. Distilled water is preferred in steamers because it keeps any kind of mineral buildup from happening and it creates a nice clean steam. So we're going to go ahead and fill up the tank now. Once the water tank is in, all we're gonna do is switch the power button to on, and we're gonna let it heat up and get the steam going, and it just takes a couple of minutes. Now we're ready to steam. So you're just gonna steam moving slowly from the top to the bottom of the garment, and I like to work from left to right. So I go slowly down in sections, and you wanna angle the steamer head down slightly so it's not facing directly on the garment it is just slightly angled down and you're moving the steam head slowly as you work your way from left to right and then you're also pulling the garment taut with the other hand so here I'm right-handed so I'm pulling the garment taut with my left hand and then I'm gonna flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. So I'm holding the side of the item and then I'm gonna move and hold the bottom as I work my way down again. Showing you again on another item, I am just moving across the item slowly from top to bottom. And if there are any spots that are, you know, still wrinkled after one pass, sometimes I will either go over it again or I will just hold the steamer in place for a couple extra seconds in that spot to release any kind of wrinkles or tension in the fabric. Steaming hack number one is to use these velvet hangers. I absolutely love these hangers. You can get them basically anywhere. I've gotten them at Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, TJ Maxx. Um, I'll link some Amazon ones down below. But basically it keeps the item on the hanger while you're steaming and it allows it to not slip off. There's nothing worse than steaming if you're using a wire or a plastic hanger and the item just slipping right off into a pile and basically gets more wrinkles and creates more work for you. So save yourself the trouble and get some velvet hangers. Steaming hack number two. 
This hack is something I picked up in my retail days and it is steaming from the inside of the garment. Sometimes with more difficult to steam fabrics or if something is super wrinkly, it's nice to steam from the inside and you're going to follow the same movements as before where you work from one side to the other. You do need to be careful when you're holding the item. You want to hold the item with one hand, hold your steamer with the other and move slowly and also make sure that your hand stays below the steamer head. You don't want the steam to accidentally steam your hand and burn you but you can see here the left side that we did from the inside was very straight and unwrinkled and now we're just going to repeat the process on the other side and the back of the item. It's also important to steam embellishments from the inside so anytime there's any kind of like beading or sequins you want to steam from within and also with velvet fabrics you want to steam from the inside. The next hack is using a clip and the clip I have right here is just a pants clip. It's the kind that are removable from the hangers I use. However, you could use a clothespin, a hair clip, basically anything that's going to allow you to grab the garment not using your fingers because sometimes you need to get really close to the edge if the hem of a, an item is folded up or say you want to do the cuffs on something. Obviously you can't get too close to your fingers because the steam is going to burn you. So by grabbing the edge with a clip, you're able to use the um, steamer a little bit closer. something I grabbed from the kitchen and it's a cutting board so this is the smaller cutting board and I like to use it under collared shirts so I will stick the cutting board under the collar and then I will take the steamer head and I will press the fabric flat against the cutting board and that allows me to get like a nice almost ironed look with the steamer and it's super fast and super easy one of my favorites and it is using a scented steam spray. So this is the Jiffy steam spray and the lavender scent and all you do is hold it about 12 inches away from your garment. You give it a spray and it's a nice mist. It smells so good. It's not too perfumey. It's pretty light. After you spray it you just steam your garment as usual and there you have it a nice refreshed item and it comes in a little spray bottle you can also get a bigger refill bottle and you just keep refilling the little spray bottle instead of having to order it over and over so I will link both of these down in the description box below for you to see how to steam and also my clothing steaming hacks. Once again, thank you so much to Jiffy Steamers and check out the description box below if you want to see links to anything that I mentioned in this video and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, found it useful, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!